All I wanna do is wanna do is wanna tell them Throw their hands up in the air, yeah, we willing them Wheels be willing them, show we top billing them So I'm here with Snow Goons, DJ Illegal, Sick Nature, and I'll ask you guys some questions. So the first question will be, how hard it is to resurrect the spirit of the 90s hip-hop? Uh, I mean, it's not really hard for us. We just do what we love and, and we keep it up all day. But I, I guess I know what you mean. It's like um, hip-hop turning really mainstream nowadays, you know, and... and um, it's sometimes it almost feels like um, we we some of a dying breed or something, you know. But at the end of the day, I mean, we just do what we love, and and we blessed to travel the world with the music, and and you know, get paid for shows, and 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 once again, just to do what we love, basically, you know. And then on the other hand, of course, it's a, hard, a lot of hard work, you know. We put a lot of work in, in into the snow goons and and keep the name up. Definitely, it's it's not easy, but. If you love what you do, you know, it's, it's, it's a different motivation than just to have money, for example, as motivation. So, it's, it's, for me, it's kind of easy, even if it's hard work. Okay, I wanted to ask you what forced you into creating your own label, uh, where you, well, let me say, just screwed up, uh, screwed over by some other labels that you were forced into creating your own label, or what happened? Well, we've been working with different types of labels. Me as a solo artist, I've been working with labels before. Uh, Snow Goons have been signed in New York. And uh, so we have, we've been working with different labels and it's not always easy to not have the overview of, of many things, like when it comes to distribution, sales, whatever. And we just felt that that we wanted to do that. We wanted to to do it ourselves. That way we can't blame anyone if it's not done properly. And at the same time it's it just it, it you know, it's it's money in our pockets. If if we don't distribute it right, it's it's money out of our pockets and, and you know Sure. You know, there there are many ways of, of looking at it, but also, uh, whether you like it or not, a label always want to influence the artists. They always want to do that, and we wanted to uh, get away from that, so Goom Music is not really a label that tries to influence anyone. We're just doing our thing, and if we put out music for other artists, we it's totally their product, you know? We can come with some ideas, but that's it. We're not trying to influence it like that. Yeah, actually, Goon Music is not really a traditional label. We're not really looking out for other artists to sign and release. It was more like a, a platform for our own music. So mainly the, the Goon Music releases going to be, at least for now, is going to be mainly just Snow Goons releases, either Snow Goons albums or collaboration albums we're going to do. So... You can't really say that that uh, Goon Music is is a traditional label. You know, it's 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 something we do from the heart, and and th that's just us basically. Yep. Okay. On the covers of your albums, you hide your faces. Why do you do that? <laughs> I mean, we don't do that on purpose. I guess it's just because um, the music we're doing, we always um, look at it as an art form too. And that's why we have very artful artwork, basically. I mean, it says already artwork, so we, we keep it really art. Um, which is kind of funny though, um, the new album that's about to come, the, the next Snow Goons record, Black Snow Part 2, that's actually the first cover where we actually own it, you know, but we, we're we going to wear the ski masks, but um, but it is actually us on the cover, so maybe we're going to change that soon, you know. But there was no never really a reason to, like, hide our faces or something. We're just always into, like, art, and, and we, we like to work with logos and, and stuff like that, so that was, for us, a better look than instead of just putting our faces on, you know. I wanted to ask you about your city craft work. Uh, which means power, power plant, uh, German. And uh, I wanted to ask you, is, well, is it because it's so powerful or were you inspired by uh, the German musicians called Kraftwerk? 
who yeah. gave hip hop one of the best samples ever. Right. Yeah. I mean, you can say it's maybe both. It was um, it was um, a little bit for 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 myself. It was a resurrection of German Luger also because it had the the German roots in it, kind of you know the word itself, and um, in in like you said, Kraftwerk are like pretty much a, a really a big influence on hip hop because Africa Bombarda, the the the, the good father of hip hop, sampled like his biggest hit, Planet Rock, is based on Kraftwerk. So you can really say it, and and then it is a big influence, and it it has been a big influence on on me too. And then, like I said, German Luger was like the the. I mean, I guess many people don't don't realize um, our album titles is mostly two main words. It's like German Luger, Black Snow. Kraftwerk, Trojan Horse, Snowgun's Dynasty, it's always two words and um, um in that category, it fitted, and 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 like you said, and it's also it's 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 it stands for for power, you know, and that's what our music is too. So it was a, a perfect match, basically. It's it's also we can I can't really um um it's not like that we're gonna sit together and and like okay, what sounds the coolest or something, you know? It's just mm-hmm. like it's like those kind of things. You, you you take a shower or you take a long ride where you just for yourself in your thoughts and 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 then it's like snap and there it is, you know. It's just it's just comes out like that it's never that we sit together and like all right what is the coolest yeah let's let's figure something out you know it comes always naturally in a way when when it comes to the titles and artwork sure well Ill- illegal as far as i know when you were younger you used to listen to Her- herbie hancock hancock and uh, michael jackson but after that you started listening to uh, rap music do you remember your first rap cd and that one goes to you sick nature um, I mean, my I bought uh, my first record was actually Run DMC, and um, I just remember at the time I had actually some records from my uncle, and uh, he he it all started with a mixtape basically. He he made a, a tape, and there was mixed up music on it like Nina Ninety Nine Balloons and stuff like some pop shit, and and then there was Sugar Hill Gang on it for example, and and from all the songs I liked that song the most. I don't know, I didn't even know what hip hop was but I liked this song always the most and um, I knew already on the tape how to forward the tape exactly to the point where this song starts that's how much I was listening to the tape all the time and I was still a little kid playing with Lego or whatever but um, I I already liked this song so much but my first record that I actually bought was Run DMC Okay. Yeah, my first record was actually uh, Public Enemy, It Takes a Nation of Millions to Hold Us Back. Uh, I had some uh, good friends that were with DJs that actually did like their own radio shows that they put on tape and stuff like that in a basement. And I, we listened to Beastie Boys and Run DMC and stuff like that down there. And I was really, you know, I was really caught by it. And then this album like just stood there. I was like, yo, this looks interesting. What is this? Can I borrow it? Yeah, sure, you can borrow it. So I borrowed it, and um, and uh, f- then I just couldn't stop listening to it. I heard it again and again and again. And there was a little groove on one of the joints. It's like a, a, a groove that lasts for like a minute. And I think, a, 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 I don't know what happened. I just started writing my own raps to it. And I, I think like... I must have written like eight songs to that groove. I just <laughs> put needle back on the record and then heard it again and again and again. And uh, so it actually inspired me, inspired me to write rhymes. So it was kind of crazy. Um, so you can say that this is my first record, but it actually, I, I actually just borrowed it. He just never got it back. <laughs> so yeah, cool. but I think he's cool with that now. He doesn't. I don't even think he listens to hip hop anymore. So, but yeah, that's the story. Right. On. <laughs> uh, during hip hop camp, you met Gavlin. Uh, what's coming uh, when it comes to this? Uh, is there going to be a huge collab with Gavlin, or is it going to be only one track? Uh, I really don't know at this point. Um, you know, it's like on tour and on shows, you're gonna meet people, and it's it's pretty much the same as in real life. When you met somebody new, either you click, or you you just don't like each other, or whatever, or you don't care. And um, for some reason. Um, 
Gaflin is mad cool, you know, like um, the whole organized red crew and stuff. We, we had a good time at the camp, and um, so we exchanged already some beats and stuff. So we're going to see what's happening. You know, it's, it's, it's like a, uh, if, if something happens, it's, it's going to be natural, like most of the time, you know. It's, it's not going to be, I mean, I can tell it's not going to be an album or something, but um, most likely we're going to do a track or something, yep. But it's, cool. it's just always a natural thing, you know. So we're just waiting for it then. Yep, yep. And you already mentioned the album Black Snow. Uh, what can you tell me about it? Uh, any guest appearances? Can you just unravel oh. some mystery when it comes to that? <laughs> you you mean the Black Snow Part Two? Yep. Um, actually, really not. We just announced the album, and uh, we want to keep it like that a little bit. You know, for now we we heavily um, promoting Signatures' new album mm -hmm. that's gonna drop 30th of September. That's our main focus right now. Um, you know, it's it's not about like putting out so much stuff it's it's like we we really serious about our music and um we we also we stand for quality you know and um at this point we really hard focused on signature's new album which is really really dope and um that's gonna come first so yeah i, I really can't really tell you any features or anything at this point but let me say it's it's pretty much done too so um it's it's a wrap definitely and yeah but that's that's about it sorry <laughs> All right, guys. It's too but early. It's too yeah, early. It's the too only early. thing I can tell you, if, if if as a fan, if you if you like Black Snow, you will love Black Snow too, because oh. you, you will get Black Snow. You will get Black Snow. That's the thing. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the times it's always risky to kind of make a sequel to what some people may consider a classic, but we're really trying to, you know, do our best to hit that exact style it's never going to be the exact same you know it's never going to be that but we're definitely getting there and i think that the whole style the sound is very similar so and it also has some little, little bit new stuff to it too but i don't want to say too much hey i have i have, I have already seen the video which is like really cool the intro for the black mm -hmm. too, so Word. We're just waiting for it. And you, you see, that's also a next step that I told you about. That we probably gonna put our faces in the future a little bit more into the group, kind of, you know, because we never really did a trailer like that or something where we actually in the trailer and stuff. And you, you're gonna see also in the future, in, in we're gonna be performing in way more videos and stuff. So maybe it's time to put put a face on the snow goons. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we, we're gonna do that in the future. Nice, nice. Okay, thank you so much guys for the interview. Uh, big up to Original Source Up to Date Festival. Big Absolutely. up to Snow Goons. Big up to Blender Art. And big up to Zoom Nation Poland. Because uh, I'm representing it too. Oh, thank home. you so much. Peace out, Keith. All right. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> really appreciate it.